My name is Giandi Pavon. I, I am from Cuba and I live in New York City. The title of this work is Amnesia, a portrait of Orlando Zapata Tamayo. Orlando Zapata Tamayo was a political prisoner in Cuba who went into a hunger strike and he died after 85 uh, days of fast, fasting. Um, so the, uh, the government uh, did not allow the medical team to, to give him uh, dextrose to save his life. So the, the liquid I use in the video is dex, dextrose. So I'm, I'm painting a portrait of this uh, person with uh, the liquid, the substance that was supposed to save his life. The, the image of his face is never complete because it, uh, this watery uh, substance is being applied with a brush on top of, a, of an oily uh, surface. This also works as a, as a vanitas, as a still life. I'm very interested in, in images that never complete, that in some ways are uh, broken, destroyed, and that reflects the reality of, the, of what it's trying to portray. My work in general is, uh, is about ruins, is about uh, that moment in which something is at the point of uh, almost disappearing. That, that's the moment I like to capture in, in things. My name is Javier Bosques. I'm from Puerto Rico. And my piece is called Iris. This is shot in Rio Grande in front of uh, El Junque, the rainforest over there. And uh, my mother is wearing a shirt with uh, the names of three political prisoners, the last three political prisoners. One of them is still incarcerated at a time. Um, so basically by her doing these rainbow drawings, it brings a, the idea of hope to the community. And uh, it's a very ephemeral hope and also a very privileged hope in the sense that like only us, the viewers, can see it, but no one really like on the other side of the balcony could really experience what we're watching. I've been actively politically, and some of the people that were incarcerated in 2001 and 2003 and so on, uh, basically were actively politically in the same way that I've been, only that they were bigger names. Um, so they are symbols more than real people when it comes to like the reason why they're incarcerated. My name is Fiera Lebaez. I was born in the Dominican Republic. My parents are both Haitian and Dominican, so I consider myself a Dominican Haitian. And I was raised in the US. This is a one month excerpt of a two year long series called Can I Pass? And this one is Can I Pass? Or introducing the brown paper bag to the fan test for the month of December. It's me subjecting myself to two tests for racial stratification. One is the brown paper bag, which is American. It's almost like an American standard of whiteness where you had to match a brown paper bag or be lighter in order to pass. And the other one is a brown, uh, the fan test from the Caribbean. It's almost like the standard for a perfect Dominican blow dry or a perfect facsimile of whiteness in that, that your hair has to bounce appropriately, meaning it has to look European for it to look the proper way when it's straightened. It can't be pin straight because that's a giveaway. So it's almost seeing how I, you know, hair is such a thing that reacts to the environment. Suddenly all your manipulations, all the facsimile that you, that you have, if you step outside and it's humid, suddenly poof, and your costume is gone. So this is um, me every day documenting the skin on my forearm and the silhouette of my hair. But I also wanted to keep some sort of agency by keeping the eyes in them so you can sort of see the psychology in you know, what I felt each day after these tests.